everybody welcome back to my channel the beaded jewel i'm rochelle and today we're going to learn how to make what i'm calling the serpentine bracelet um serpentine spiral bracelet here so these are the earrings um i've never seen a tutorial for the earrings this is what we're going to be making today i already have a tutorial on my youtube channel for for the bracelet which i'll I'll post a link at the very end of this video. You can just uh, click it. It might actually just be a picture you can click on and it'll take you right there. Um, but I don't believe there's any tutorial for the earrings, which is no big deal. It's just a little bit of this and you add on the extra bicone at the end. So it's really quick. So this is what I made recently, but I want to make the earrings to match this my rainbow spiral bracelet so I want to make earrings to match this and um, I already got all my supplies here so I'm going to be making some rainbow earrings here's my crystals I already have here I got my 11 OC beads okay uh, I'm using a darker mat so hopefully you'll be able to see the beads uh, better than using my lighter mat here as you can see the difference um, so I use all 11 C beads for this I don't count I mean not the bracelet but the earrings that I'm going to be making here um, and the bracelet I use all 11 OC beads um, I like the silver lined I'm going to use today for the rainbow earrings I'm using 4 mil AB2X crystals okay um, there are 15 of these you will need or any 4 mil beads that you would like to use. You'll need 15 of them. Okay, I'm going to get these back out of the way. There, I'm going to get these out of the way. Okay, and um, get this out of the way. And I'm also using um, 6 pound fire line for these earrings today. Okay, so let's that's all you'll be needing. I already got my thread ready here. I'm using you know the white so you're not gonna be able to see it very well. So let's get started. I'm picking up five. I'm not gonna have my supplies here, otherwise the camera doesn't focus right. I'm picking up five eleven O's. Five eleven O's, and I'll show you in a sec. One four mil. And one eleven now. So this is what we'll be starting with. I should get a little closer. Okay. I hope that's okay. So five eleven O's, one four mil, one eleven O. Okay, slide it all the way down. Leave it nice. I like to leave a nice long tail, so I have that to work with. And. Um, I'm getting ready to think I'm doing a Russian spiral go through. Well, I guess I could. Okay, I'll do it like this, though. Actually, I'm going to go around. It's easier for me to hold it that way. So just turn it around. Go up four CBs. Okay. Hope you can see that. Go up four, just pull that through, and you should get that. That's what we should have so far. Okay, turn it to the left. And every time we make one of these, you're going to turn it to the left. Okay, so now going forward, we're going to add two 11 O's, one four mil. 111L. This is what you'll be adding going forward until you completely finish the earring. Okay. Slide it all the way down. Should look like this. You're going to count down five. Five eleven O's. One, two, three, four, five. Go up that fifth one and go up and out through four. Okay? That's what that should look like. 
pull it all the way through. This is what you'll have. Turn it to the left. And there we go. And just keep hold of that. You know, as always, the first couple rounds are, you know, a little bit tough to hold on to. So again, two 11 O's. It's hard to see these silver lined <laughs> on a beading mat. One four mil, one eleven o. Slide it all the way down. This is what you'll have. Count down five eleven o's. One, two, three, four, five. Go up through that fifth one and up through four only. Pull that all the way through and turn it to the left. And you kind of have your first spiral there. That is your first spiral. Okay, I'll do one more and I'm going to leave you on your own. And that is our fourth bead that we just added. As you can see it's starting to form a spiral all the way around. And I will do, I'll go ahead and do one more. Let's see, two 11 O's. One four mil, one eleven L. Slide it all the way down. Count five C beads down. Go up only through four. Pull that all the way through, and there you go. Pull it nice and taut, and you can see we're getting our spiral here. Okay, so keep doing that till you finish up all your 14 C beads. I mean your your uh, bicones here, your four mil beads. You should have one left to add on to the bottom here. Okay, so save one of your bicones to add to the bottom. So you're going to add 14 bicones on here. And I will see you back. We'll finish it. I'll show you how to put on the bicone at the bottom and how I finish the, the ear wire here. Okay, and you can see that I finished my earring. So here we go. So this is a total of 15 bicones on here. I mean, yeah, 15. No, 14, sorry. I think it's 14. Yeah, 14, and this is my 15th one. Just can't remember anything anymore. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm coming out of here. This is where I finish. So now I want to add on the little bicone at the end there. That's what we're going to add on now. And it's really simple. So you're just going to take one C bead, your four mil, a C bead. Okay. Just like that. Of course, take it all the way down. Okay, that's what we're going to have there. And now we're going to go past that C bead, go into your 4 mil, and uh, all the way up through here. Just keep going down. You're just going to weave it in. We're just going to weave it in here. Take this up. Okay. I'm going to weave it in. We're going to work our way, we're going to weave it in up through here, I'm going to, I'm, I'm just looking up at the camera to see if you can see, 
I'm going to weave it in here. I'm going to take you through here and go back down and do another round. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Come on. All right, got that. Just to secure it. Where we're at now, we're coming out of here. Let me go through here. And then, as you can see, where that other thread already is, I'm going to jump back in here and go back down and up around. So back through this one. And then go back through the bicone. Come on, bicone. And back through here. And then you're just going to really just go in. I would just weave it all in here. I'm going to weave it back through here. And then basically, basically what we're doing is just finishing it off here. Okay, you can do a couple half hitch knots along the way. Whatever you like to do. Okay. And I'm going to keep weaving this through, okay, and do a couple half hitch knots, and then come back and I'll show you how to finish the ear wire, okay? And we're back. So this is what we have after putting on our last bicone down here. and just straighten out your little CB down there. There you go. And this is what we should have. Okay, now we're going to get ready to put on the ear wire. This is my ear wire that I'm going to use right here. Oops, there we go. Okay, I'm going to see which way I want it to line up. I like this side here, so I'll put it on this way. Okay, so I have uh, five C beads. Okay, I'm just going to Pick up my ear wire here. Oh, let me see. So I've got to go in here. So I'll go this way. I don't know if that matters. Then I'm going to pick up five more C beads. There we go. Just drop. This will work. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is just take this, I'm going to weave it through this uh, CB right over here, and into that bicone. I'm almost done. It's my cat if you hear meow in the background. Okay, and there you go. So we just weave it on down there. And you're just going to weave it on around. There's no, you know, pattern to how to do it. But I'm going to weave it here. Um, I'm going to weave it down in there. I'm going to try to get back here, go back up here, and do two more rounds to secure that, reinforce it. So, let's see if it doesn't take me too long. Go through there, I'll go back to down this bicone. And let's see if I can start working my way back up.
see if I can get through the middle here. Keep going. Where are we getting there? Pull that through. And I'm just going to do that one more time, but then that's it. You, you have your earring. There we go. So I'm going to go finish this and my other one and we'll come back and see what I've done. And here you can see I've completed the whole set. So here are my earrings, my finished earrings. They turn out absolutely gorgeous. Very easy to make. Very quick to make. It's the bracelet. And here is the necklace. Okay. Now the necklace is, you know, just like the bracelet. And then you can really kind of look at this and figure out the pattern. I have about I think, 10 or 15 um, C beads here, four by cones, C beads, by cones. And that's it. So maybe I will do a tutorial on how to add this on here just to be clear about it. But that's it. It's a beautiful necklace. There you go. So I hope you give this a try. It's very quick. The holidays are coming up. Very quick to make. Looks very complicated to make. Um, and looks very expensive. So I hope you had fun with this tutorial. And uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Okay, and um, thank you for taking the time to watch my tutorial. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.